What's good? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit that like button. What's good? Hit that like button. What's good, family? Yeah, it's your man, VKJ. We back. I'm back. Are you ready? It's time. Exclusive picks. I see you. Can you feel me? Can you hear me? Family, are you ready for the main event? This Monday night's main event. Once again, once again, we are here. I see you, family. Y'all ready for me for some exclusive picks? Y'all ready to play the game? What it look like? What's good? What's good? Let's see who's in the building. Who's first in the building? My man, Demarcus Vaughn is in the building, yo. What's good? What's good? Tati Money in the building. What's good? What's good? Brees is in the building. What's good? What's good? Yeah, let's see, let's see. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, Renee, how you doing? What's good, what's good? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, do us a favor real quick. Hit that like button for us. Share this out for us. Because you know your boy got some exclusive picks to share with y'all today. And I've been waiting for this all day long, working hard just to be right here with y'all today. All right, so hit that like button for us. Whatever platform you on, hit the like button. Show some love. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Ola, Ola, Team Ola in the building. What's good, Queen? What's good? Hey, Nola, Summer Rain is in the building. What's good? What's good? What's good? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Tati Money, Flames. We're seeing all the Flames. We're seeing. Y'all yeah, know how we do. Y'all ready for this? All right. All right. All right. All right. What up? What up? What up? All right, let me bring on my final prediction, ladies. You know, we always like to have fun. You know what I mean? And I'm going in order whoever came through first and whoever came through next. All right, that's how we going to do it. We flipping it up today. Yo, so let me bring her on, you know what I'm saying? With some brand new hair, don't care. You know what I'm saying? Coming through from the A. <laughs> Monique Nicole in the building was good. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. You look nice. I like it. Thank I like you, this. Different. It's different. For the summertime, you know. A little summer, oh. summer flow. I like it. I like it. Y'all, if y'all like Monique Nicole's new hair, don't care. All right. <laughs> Hit that like button, yo. Hit that like button. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's going on? Kim Cunningham is in the building. Latoya, la, 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 Latoya is in the building. That's right. Everyone, come on in. Hit that like button share and subscribe thank you very much latoya appreciate that appreciate that all right all right all right hit that like button hit that like button who's next let me bring her up man 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 heard some news today and i'm i'm, I'm kind of excited 
I'm kind of excited for her, you know what I'm saying? Brand new. She can share it if she want. I ain't going to tell your business, you know what I'm saying? But I'm glad, you know, I appreciate you sharing it with your boy. You know what I mean? Talking about Amina Cena is in the building. What's good? What's good? Hi. Hey, girl. I haven't seen these pictures yet, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> you ready? Okay, okay. Okay. Last but not least, we got the defendant prosecutor today. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I mean, you know, you put on your special glasses, Ooh. you know, that's, that's what I think, you know what I mean? But she is here doing her thing. All of y'all doing your thing. Who else am I talking about? I'm talking about Sweet P. Ashley is in the building. What's good? What's good? Hey, hey, hey. Not the defendant prosecutor, Jay. How that work? How, how can I be? Sometimes you prosecute, sometimes defendant. you defend. Sometimes oh. you do both. <laughs> okay, you know I'll take How's everybody what doing? Up? Hey, good, good CP. I got to know what you was thinking about Lucille. But... <laughs> <laughs> you going to get to all of that. How y'all doing, ladies? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? You feeling good? You good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. All right. Y'all excited about these exclusive picks? Yes, very excited. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got them for you. I got them for you. Family, I see some new folks in the house. Miss Butterfly, 1976, 70. Salute to the 70. Salute, salute to you. Thank you for coming through. Appreciate you for coming through. Thank you for showing love. Hit that like button. Definitely share this out with everybody you know that is loving BMF because we got some stuff. We got some stuff. I got some stuff to share with y'all today. And surprisingly, I do not see Lucille in any of these new picks. Darn. Or the doctor. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, we'll still have stuff to talk about, but still, you know, <laughs> I know why all of them came here to see us talk about Lucille and Charles. But, you know, you, you got the footage. You got the, the other footage. Check that out. You know what I mean? We went in. All right. Let's get into this. You know the game. What it looked like. I'm going to drop the pick. Let me know what's going on. What do you think is going on based of your based on your knowledge of BMF in the past episodes. All right. So I'm going to skip around. I'm going to skip around. I'm going to start with Amina seen it first. And then we'll make our way around the corner. All right. All right. Let's get to it. What it look like, fam. You know how to play this game. Hit that like button, fam. Share this out. Exclusive picks right here on VKJ TV and friends. All right. Let's do it. Here's the first pick. Amina, it's on you. What is going on right here? Right? What do you Trouble think is going on? Maker. And to my people that know Tyler Perry shows, I've yep. seen him before. Me too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Listen, he is on duty right now. So he is stopping Terry while he, that's why I said Marquisha brought drama to Terry. This dude is on duty bothering Terry. He don't need those problems. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, okay. Ashley, what else is going on? Is there any, like, code yeah. violation? You know how y'all do. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I got some, you know, officers in my family. We got, you know, ex-officers online. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you grease the hand a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You, you'll you make up some codes that need to be taken care of. What you think, Ashley? What's well, you know how I feel about this whole situation. You know how I feel about Big Quiche uh, in her ways. And now he has a new op, right? So the mm. op is actually in the family diner, just trying to throw his weight around, trying to let him know, you know, if I want Fat Cat, if I want Big Quiche, I can have her. You know what I'm saying? And you better stay in line before I take your girl uh, or I might take you out. You know what I'm saying? It seems mm. like this could get wow. very volatile. We know men go to war all about a woman. So, yeah, yeah. it could wow. get ugly really fast, I think. And that's wow. how Big Keish wants it. That's how Big Keish wants it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not okay. Not okay. Before I get to you, Monique, uh, definitely got a shout out. Kim Cunningham with the super sticker. Thank you so much for that love. You know, I mean, you know, anything over, you know, four dollars or five, I'm going to show more love. Like, you know, I'm going to do, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Thank you for your contribution and bringing that VK energy. I appreciate the love. Thank you for the love right here on VKJ TV. We all appreciate you. Thank you very much. Um, let me see. Let me see. Monique Nicole. Yes. What's going on? Huh. These guys. What is the conversation about? This is just messy. This is a very messy situation that, uh, sorry, y'all, that was my cat. Uh, it was a very messy situation that, I'm trying to be very nice with my words, uh -huh. um, that Heffa, because that's not a curse word, that Heffa, Markeisha, put this all together. You know, she's a very dangerous woman. So this is all part of her scheme, her plot. I don't really know what she's trying to do. It, it looks like she wants to potentially put Officer on payroll yeah. to help Terry, but we know it's going to backfire. We know it's going to get real messy. So I can tell there's some tension going on in this conversation in this particular scene. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what I'm predicting. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, family. I'm seeing your comments. I'm seeing your comments. Uh, you know, what's going on, Jay? What's going on, Jay? Uh, Big Keish never has her kids. Somebody calls her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, who going to call CPS? Maybe Luana I'm might call CPS. You know what I'm saying? I mean, after that confrontation last episode, I mean, you know. Yeah. She, you're right. I don't never see her with the kids. You know what I'm saying? But somebody can drop that. the kids off with her mother and mm. we ain't seen them since. Right, right. Mm. Such a great mother, right? <laughs> She's such a great mom. All right, all right, all right. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Family, if you're just finding us, this is Final Predictions, exclusive picks with the fam here, VKJ TV and friends. Let's go to the next pick. What is going on right here? I'll start with you, Ashley. What's going on? Uh, well, huh. it looks like Uncle Charles might be trying to be a daddy now. Like, it, it looks like they're having a father-son bonding moment. Uh, we're in Terry's new place. You know what uh -huh. I mean? And uh, is, is Charles signing something? What is he writing down? I'm, I'm wondering, maybe he's working on some new music. He looks very happy. I mean, you know, I'm I'm all for father-son relationships in the black community terry's got a smile on his face mm -hmm. uh, even uncle charles got a smile you know i'm i'm here for it you know it's one of the finer moments for charles I'll, i give credit where credit is due jay i'm a fair i'm a fair woman you know what i mean i love this moment it's a beautiful oh. moment beautiful <laughs> gowns Be beautiful gowns Thank you for being a fair woman. I appreciate that. Um, the the picture spread out. He's holding a mirror because he's getting his hair cut. So he's holding a mirror. Oh. All right. You can watch Terry. Yeah, supervise yeah I just didn't have it in the pic. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's holding a mirror. Uh, Monique. Yes, sir. What is he getting ready for? I mean, is he getting ready for a date? Like, like what is going on? Not trying to be messy because we just got fairness from Ashley. And we know Ashley, you know, sometimes she goes in on Charles, but she was fair this time and being very fair nice. Yeah. Being fair this time and being very <laughs> nice. And <laughs> what do you think? Y'all are silly tonight. Um, <laughs> no, I, I really do agree with um, everything that Ashley said. I, I love, listen, I love a wholesome moment, you know, in the midst okay. of the chaos. We need some more wholesomeness. Wholesome chaos. Show. Wholesome chaos, did you say? <laughs> I like wholesomeness in the midst of uh, chaos. <laughs> ah, wholesomeness in the midst um, of chaos. Okay. Yes, sir. But I think you did ask a very good question. What is this? Is he getting ready for an event? Or, you know, brother just needs mm -hmm. a haircut and his son is, you know, being kind and hooking him up. You know what I mean? You know, money is tight. So, you know. Um, But it's good to see Charles smile. I haven't seen him smile since he got some from Lucille. So, you know, it's very nice to see the brother smile. So, to be continued. We will we will see. See the brother smile since Lucille. Okay, okay. Now look. Amina, I'm a, I'm going to give you another pick and this may tie in with the pick that we watching that we looking at right now, all right? So you get the opportunity to kind of put two and two together. <laughs> so you see this pick, right? Okay. You're getting ready for something. But I have another pick here where we see Charles is performing mm. somewhere. 
So what's going on, Amina? What do you think is happening with this pick right here? I mean, getting a haircut, I'm thinking, hey, right? <laughs> yeah, I like it. I, I I love it because he's picking up his hobby back up, his love. He's he's uh -huh. getting he's getting back to himself, and I love his son helping him. Like that was a true father son moment. Love it. Love seeing it. Yeah, he's getting ready for his performance though, so. and his, okay. his son is, should be there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is that a, is that a keyboard he'll probably still in a car somewhere. Yeah, that's his sit down guitar. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you see the law firm checking in though, Jay? We got. Blood. I did. I did not. I did not. But but welcome everyone. You know I'm busy with these picks. But hello everyone. Welcome. Um. So I'm going to open it up because again, this is a close up of the actual performance. Mm. Your boy is getting it in. He's going <laughs> back to his first love. You know. So. Uh. Yeah. 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 I. I I'm liking it, Ashley. What do you think? Is he moving on from Lucille now? I mean, I just hope it's a paying gig. That's all I have to say about it. You, I hope he gets a check. <laughs> you, let me see, let me see. It's always about the money. And speaking of money, all right. <laughs> uh, we want to. We want to thank. We want. <laughs> you guys are so funny. We want to thank the uh, JMC and Associates checking in for their contribution to this today's live streaming event. And what is that again, uh, Ashley? Because I forget all. Johnny the time. May Cochran and Associates checking in. Johnny May. Okay. Well, thanks for that. I'm gonna yeah, yeah, do my yeah. own thing here. And Thank you. Thank you for your contribution <laughs> and bringing that fake energy. Thank you, Latoya, for that contribution. Definitely appreciate you on that. Thank you for the love. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. Good stuff. No, Good I'm stuff. happy for Charles. Sincerely. I'm glad he's pursuing his passion. I hope it makes him a better man, a better person. Hope it changes his countenance. Um, yeah. And, and hopefully he gets something back because we, we know throughout the seasons he has lost something of himself. Um, so hopefully he finds it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, look, Charles seems to be learning some things, okay? Hopefully, I, I believe he is, you know what I mean? Like, from his, you know, transgressions, right? You, you, you got to learn a lesson, and especially right now, because, you know, your wife is doing some things that he probably won't be happy about. So, again, he got to be on a straight and narrow at this point, you know what I'm saying? He has to step up as a man, because, yeah, I mean, I think one of y'all said it last time, like, it's fair game, right? So, I mean, Charles got to step up and do something, right? Got to do something. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Next pick. Next pick. What's going on? What it look like? I'm going to start with Monique. What it look like? Boom. Oh, what the hell going on around here? All right. We got, oh, this looks intense, honey. So, we got Coach Cop. <laughs> and then having a very intense conversation. He got the screwed up face on 10. Mm -hmm. uh, shoot. I mean, they probably talking about their little secret operation that they're about to do with um, Gremlin. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant Henry. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, you know, that's, that's my best guess. It's definitely about the situation with Henry and probably trying to develop a game plan to tackle the situation, but it does look like a very tense conversation. Very tense. Very tense. Okay. 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 Uh, Ashley, what's going on here? Yeah, it's on some plot and moves. It's definitely got to do with her undercover mission with, uh, with Mrs. Still your girl. You know, I'm interested to see what's going to happen. I hope Jen, auntie Jen keeps the, the blonde wig at home though. Um, <laughs> I hope she does that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we'll see. And we'll just hope that 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 Mrs. Steel girl don't take her out after she taps it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, she's trying to convince Bryant about something, too. I think that's a convincing like mm -hmm. I, I can this. I can handle this. We're going to be OK. That was that reassuring thing. But yeah, they're they're plotting and scheming as usual. Mm -hmm. Friday. OK, Detective. I mean, I mean, Amina said say, seen it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to add on another piece as I did last time, do you think this meeting right here, this conversation 
has anything to do with Brian's downfall. Okay. Yes. He's got that same towel <laughs> or whatever that is on his neck. But um, yeah, I guess she's like, buddy, you got to give it up. Because he's that's all he's been doing is um drinking day in, day out at the bar. So I guess he's finally at home and he's collapsed. Maybe he's been in there for a while, but that's some strong drinks. Hey, what is that? Bottle. E and J? What is that, yeah, Jack? That's what it looked like. But that's mm. dark rum. I know it ain't no do say, but it, the bottle looks similar. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I know, I like I know I'm not a drinker or nothing like that. I don't know anything about that. Yet. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, she definitely looks like, yo, come on, man, get it together, man. We're gonna do yeah. this, we're gonna do this. I did see the trailer. And I did see this conversation where she's like, listen, if we take out BMF and Glock, well, not Glock, BMF and Henry, mm-hmm. right? Because Glock is in Atlanta, then that'll be that'll be good, right? And he's like, yeah, yeah, it'll be good. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like he, I think he's definitely feeling it, man. Like missing Kevin, because look at the door. That's Kevin's door. Yeah. But the artwork. It's very it's sad. Yeah. yeah. It's probably a t-shirt there. or something. Yeah, this is that's real kind of heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking. See the artwork yeah, on top. Yeah. That's one of his figures. That's probably the superhero that he created, that Kevin created. Yeah, you know? so sad. So sad. Okay, okay. I don't want to dampen the mood. Yeah, okay. you just you just made it real sad in here. I didn't do nothing <laughs> but just point something out. Okay, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on, fam? <laughs> Definitely hit that like button, fam. Share this out. Exclusive picks for episode eight. BMF. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go, fam. What's going on right here? We got Meech and we got Duffy. What are they talking about? I know they're in the A. What's going on now? What do you think? I'm gonna start with you, Amina. What do you think? They pl- oh um because last episode they just said that um the tyrant took over <laughs> again Glock um, yeah is it is it Glock Glock he took over so now they gotta strategize how to get back on top okay okay yeah. you agree Monique yeah I mean it's definitely possible definitely possible this is um this is Duffy right yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I like him. I like his character. I hope he yeah. sticks around for a little while. Okay. Anything to add, Ashley? Yeah. Well, we know that BMF is kind of hanging on by a thread. He still said that Glock is the king of Atlanta, right? And so, yeah, I think they're just planning what their next steps are. How do we get Glock out of this position? We know the first time was a literal massacre, right? So now we need to figure out what our next move is. And they're smoking a cigar. This is a bonding moment as well. You know, when you've arrived, the black men get their cognac and their cigars and, uh, sit around and talk business. You know what I mean? I like this moment. I like this scene. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. Yeah. They definitely got to get it together because if, if Glock is the king of Atlanta right now, then we got to take him out somehow, some way, you know, there's too many people that, that uh, got taken out at that Techwood battle, man. Like uh, it, it was a lot of, a lot of bodies, a lot of bodies. So bodies, you know. bodies, bodies. Bodies, bodies, bodies. Retribution, retribution. Okay, what's next? What's next? Let's see what's going on. What's going on here? Oh, shoot. Oh, sucky, sucky now. Go Mm. ahead, Monique. Go ahead. Go ahead. I tell y'all about this trick. She (laughs) is nothing but trouble. Mm. She is a conniving, manipulative, Mm. deceitful woman. Mm. She's a dangerous woman. Very dangerous. Um, this mm. is very shady. I don't know why the, uh, the cop is all up in her grill, all up in her face. Got her man standing back. You know, Terry, you got to man up a little bit, partner. You, you know what I mean? Marquisha is just playing him in my in my eyes. Um, this scene in particular, you know, I don't know. They're def- obviously discussing potentially business. Um, again, I think it's going to be very messy. Um, this is all in her, this is very strategic. I will say this is very strategic. And I think we'll kind of have to wait and see what the bigger plan is, I guess, from her perspective, but yeah, it's messy. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, anybody want to add anything to this right here? How is this going to turn out? I mean, man, it is 
<laughs> awful right now. Um, she invited him though, clearly, like she always mm-hmm. does. But she's she was mm-hmm. just so thirsty for attention, and he's oh my gosh. But I never seen him I, like you don't understand. He was so masculine. I didn't even recognize this guy last episode. I was like, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> voice was like, uh, I was like, what the heck is all of this? I don't even know which one is which now. This is the BMF version of him, okay? Like, Not the Tyler like, Perry version. Tyler Perry version. I do think this is all playing into her wanting to be a boss, though. I don't know what kind of connect. And I'm kind of sitting here looking at these four empty mojito glasses. Mm. Mm. Mojitos were those. Were those teas or were those this man's? You know what I mean? Vince, is that his name? Um, yep. But yeah, again, everything is related to her wanting to be a boss, I feel like. So I don't know if she, like um, Monique said, is trying to kind of create a, a system where they work together for some purpose, uh, which is going to be messy because like, like we said, what in our review, um, Vince has hit that before he's, he's hit big quiche. You know what I'm saying? It's gone down in the past. So is he going to be okay? Just being a platonic partner in whatever scheme they're going to come up with. I don't, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. That don't look platonic to me. He's wiping her brow. Yeah, I know. He really like all up in her personal <laughs> space, right? Crazy, yo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, like your man is like a kid and he's messing with grown folks at this point. You know what I'm saying? He's still what, 20 at this point? 18, 19? Like he's a young kid, you know what I mean? But still he's a boss, right? So I think uh this is just her way of right, yeah. It's just her way of doing exactly what she said she saw in him, trying to force him into stepping up, into, you know, bossing up, you know. But at the same time, she's trying to get moist, as we know. Right? That's that's her thing. <laughs> that's, her th- that's her thing. That's what she likes, right? Last week, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. That that's what she likes, you know what I mean? Hold on. So I did that one already. Hold on. I think there was one more. I swear they were like sitting together, but okay, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it. All right, is this it? Nope. Okay. Yeah, they just plotting. I mean, really, like, uh, if y'all could guess if y'all want what this conversation is about, I think it's just a continuation of how um, they took over Henry's business, right? Took over, you know, they flipped all the guys to their side now, and now Henry's coming at them. I don't know. But speaking of Henry, let's talk about this, though. What, what, what was going on here? Oh, snap. She done brought back the wig. Your girl is looking way more feminine now. Yeah, the hair is down. She even, last, yeah. even last episode, she looked a little bit more feminine. What do you think is going on? I'm going to start with you, Amina. What do you think is going on with it, with this right here? <laughs> well, the description of her character says that she struggles with her um, herself. So I guess she's struggling between masculine feminine she don't know which one she want or you know she's struggling she's finding herself that's what her character says mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ashley what you think what you think can we go back to the pick one more time let me see sure. let me look closely look a little closer i know she ain't letting her guard down with jen jen ain't that slick but mm-hmm. i mean to the unassuming eye it would seem as though henry may be opening up right uh, and Jen is kind of looking there like a sitting duck. I don't get that either. So I don't know. Henry might just be, you know, venting in this moment. And Jen is taking it in. But you're right. She does look softer mm-hmm. in this moment. But again, Jen is playing a dangerous game. Jen is playing a dangerous game. Henry is a live, loose cannon. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't be a game I'd be playing. But but go off. she got that blank stare in her eyes, too. It's like. Is she having a, a moment where she's dissociating or something? Look at her eyes, y'all. She look, yeah, she's on one for sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, Nick, did you chime in? Um, not yet. I agree with the ladies. It, it looks like they're having um, a serious, vulnerable conversation. Henrietta looks like she's being vulnerable in this moment. I don't know what they're discussing, but. You know, like Ashley said, is she letting her guard down with Jen? Um, And I do agree that 
um, this is very dangerous. I, I think that Jen is um, underestimating um, Henrietta because, you know, last week we saw that Brian was very serious with her. He was like, you should not have gone there alone. Like she is, she's a wild one. Like you got to be careful with her. And it seems like Jen doesn't really understand what um, Henrietta is capable of. So I am very worried for Jen. I'm very worried. I'll say that. Okay. Amina, you chimed in too? Yes, I did. Okay. Let me tell you what I think is going on. Uh, along with what Ash said, yeah, this is a vulnerable moment. I think she is probably talking about her relationship with her dad. Mm. Um, I think she's sharing that with Jen. This is exactly what Jen wanted, right? She wanted to get in to find out exactly what's going on with her, how she ticks, how everything. And I think this is one of those moments where she's just like, you know what? My dad doesn't accept me for me. And, you know, he says he wants a daughter because, you know, he put me in this and put me in that and coached me, but that's not who I am. So Jen is just like, well, damn, I wasn't expecting all this. Like I wasn't expecting this little freaking violin to be playing around this supposed uh, threat to society. You know what I'm saying? So I think Jen is just like, whoa, like I wasn't, I didn't think you would share something like that with me. You know what I mean? So she is, as you said, Amina, as the description said, yeah, she is in heavy conflict with who she is. And her identity. And I think you ever like want to prove yourself to your parents mm -hmm. and you try so hard that it gets frustrating to do that. You know what I mean? And I think her way, her method in trying to prove herself to her dad obviously is not working. And I think she's really softening up and coming to the realization that she's never going to impress her dad to be like a son because that's the first thought that she had. You want a son, don't you? He's like, no, I want a daughter. I want this pretty daughter. You know what I'm saying? So I think she's regressing or going back to being the pretty daughter based on these softer looks. Hmm. You know what I mean? So I think yeah. that's where, where we're going here. You know, what it, I mean? it, you know, it's giving that Tommy character, that girl on Tommy, the one mm -hmm. with her father. Mm -hmm. I forgot her name, but. Oh, um, yeah. It's, it's giving that. Yeah, you're talking about snake ass mother freaking Claudia Flynn. Claudia. Yeah. That's what I made getting. that comparison to Amina, but yeah. I think we can all agree it was more um, understandable from Claudia's standpoint because she legitimately was capable of mm. running the organization. She truly was an asset. Um, she was a good businesswoman. Uh, when it came to the family business versus Henrietta, not so much, mm. not very, mm. radical, not logical, not, not rational. You know, she's kind of all over the place. Yeah, I, I'm going to challenge that Claudia because Claudia killed, I mean, unalive the chemist for no reason. And that she was very hot headed. I'm not saying she was perfect. But she, <laughs> ran that, but she ran that business though. Like she, she was an asset. She was doing better than her brother and her father couldn't acknowledge it because she was a woman. So it's a little different. Uh, that's not um, Blaze's issue. He, he's not sexist. He doesn't care that she's a, that she's a woman. It's the way she goes about things. Yes. That's the issue. That's why I think the audience, at least when I made the comparison previously, people can reason more with Claudia's feelings because her father was being sexist, you know? So, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I believe all of those crazy antics that Henry was doing was just like a lash out. Look what I can do, dad. Look, I, I can be a boss. So all the crazy stuff, we're like, why are you, what, what is this about? Why are you fighting your goon? Why are you blazing and freaking putting a guy up? Like, what is this? What's the, what's the reason? And I think she's now like, yo, all that stuff that I did, it's not even working to prove myself to my dad. So I think that's this moment right here. Like, it's like, damn, what, what else can I do to impress my dad? And maybe Jen comes up with a plan a trick mm. planned like you should do this in order to take out BMF and kind of get them both together, ambush them, and then boom, try to come down on both crews. Bam. What's that? 
Oh, that's not, that, not, that's not the button, but I'll, that's the prediction and the suspense at the same time. Okay. <laughs> what do you guys think? Chime in below. Let me know. Let us know. All right, family. Let me see if I got all the picks. I think did I go through everything. I think I went through every pick. Damn. Ooh. There was a pick with, it was just a, a random pick Ooh. with Terry and, and Markeisha. They were just sitting there smiling at each other. It was nothing. Really nothing. Oh, but yeah. yeah. Another not episode. I'm a little nervous. I don't know. I don't, we don't see Lucille. <laughs> we do see Charles. I think they're going to show up though. Just as they didn't send us the press picks. I think the doc and, and Lucille will show up. You know what I mean? It may not be like a major, major time period, but they got to show up. Like, they can't just leave us hanging like that. Like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Did they go to the hotel from the from the car? Like, what? I want to know what happened. Do y'all want to know what happened? Uh, yeah, I'm I'm curious. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's still in the car. She's still. <laughs> still- <laughs> <laughs> Did they jump in the back seat? Like, what do y'all think yeah, happened? Like, you know, in high school, man. If y'all don't grow up, I wish yeah. somebody would put me in that damn car. Man, we too grown for that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, Latoya, I, I don't know. We have to watch the entire season first and then we can kind of like talk about that and see what happens, you know what I'm saying? And then we can actually have all the facts together and see what's up with that because, you know, they're going to lose anyway. But um, yeah, so <laughs> here we go. Yeah, man, that, that, that's it. That's all I got. That's all I got. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got. And that goes to Ashley and her crew. You know what I'm saying? Because you know they just won one, and that was it was fixed. It was fixed. <laughs> we won the it only. was it was it was fixed. <laughs> it was fixed. But anyway, um, yeah. So that's all I have as far as those picks. Do you think, based on what we just showed, that this might be a mm, a mad episode? What do you think? This is episode eight. What do you think, Monique? Because I see you like. Oh. <sighs> Well, I was very underwhelmed with the previous <laughs> episode. Oh, you were? And I, yeah, I was. And I have my critiques, overall critiques for uh. season three. I do mm. feel like this has been the most lackluster season. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm not saying it's trash. Yeah. But in my opinion, in comparison to season one and season two, this is the weakest season thus far for BMF, in my opinion. Uh huh. So. Uh huh. Got yeah. it. You are too, Monique. Sixty-nine ways. Uh, okay. Yeah, I get you. I got you. So, um, Amina, I didn't get your take. What were you underwhelmed by the last episode, or were you like, "Yo, this was good"? Or what was your mm, rating? I didn't, I didn't even get your rating. I didn't care for it. I really didn't. Um. Mm. I think Jay Pusher did way too much. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, but I, I mean, I like Bodie, so you know, I'm faithful because the wire. Right. But uh, the episode, yeah. But this is episode eight, so somebody, somebody's getting unalived. Mm. Wonderful. That's Un-alive. this is episode eight. Okay. Who's so? Who do you think is going to be unalive? I'm gonna take. Okay, I'm. Not, I w- I was gonna take Jen, but. I might take, I think I'm going to take, I'm just going to go with Jen. So Jen is going to die. Henrietta's very wild. She she could smile at you in one moment and get you the next. Do you think they're going to keep her around like they did Claudia Flynn for now? What, Whoa. going on three se- seasons? Because I was mad. Every, like, okay, what are we on? Th- season three, right? Of, of, of uh, Force, right? Yeah. Mm. I was mad. I wanted her to be gone already. Like they should have been took out. You think they're gonna keep Henry going like the, to the next season? I hope not. I don't think so. Cause just like um, we didn't like what's that guy that was threatening Unique on um? Cause they all like <laughs> entwine all these shows. They do the same thing. Um, mm-hmm. they brought him in for the, um, to menace the show for like oh, Ronnie? After a season. Ronnie, and then they took him. So yes, I was glad. <sighs> bye bye. Uh huh. <laughs> bye bye, Ronnie. Bye bye, Ronnie. Bye bye. Ta ta. Ta ta. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. What happened? Nothing. Okay. So um, I don't know. Like, who else do you think is going to be taken out, Ashley? Who else do you think is going to be taken out? 
I don't know. I think I think Jen, I hope Henry at some point, but next episode, I'm not sure. Um, okay. But like I said, I think playing around with Henry is a super dangerous game. I agree with the ladies on that. Um, yeah, we might see some loss in Atlanta, too. So there's mm-hmm. always that. Mm-hmm. I think they're probably holding back press picks. Hopefully this is actually an exciting episode and they just didn't want to spoil it. So maybe that's why. We did. They didn't drop so many. I'm hoping we actually get some progression because we only have two episodes left after this. So, right. Yeah. Okay. What's gonna happen? I don't know, man. We only got two episodes left, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. Who's Can I ask y'all a question? Yeah. Do you guys think we are gonna see the end of Lucille and Charles by the finale? Like marriage done? They've decided to get a divorce. <sighs> what do y'all think? I would hope so, man, because they leading us up, building us up, building us up. Like, I don't want this to carry on to the next season. Like, come on, man. Yeah, I don't want it to either. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Ashley? Um, repeat the question for me. Oh, about I'm sorry. I was asking you guys, do you think that by the finale, we're going to see the end oh. of Charles and the feels like they've decided they're going to end the marriage by the finale or they're going to I hope so. I hope so, but that's been kind of the most I- intriguing part of the season so far, so it would be yeah. disappointing if that was the case um because I do kind of like the back and forth cat and mouse just for sake of the drama. In reality though, I would hope that they have either decided to make it work officially and cut out all yeah. the foolishness or, you know, separate and go their separate ways and make it official. That would be you know, mm. the right thing. <laughs> right. Got you. Got you. Okay. Okay. All right, man. I just want to know, like, who... We know Meech is going to be here. We know no. Terry ain't going nowhere. Mm. And Brian's going to be around for a while, too, right? Because he's way yeah. in the future. Um, Which I wish they never did that. They should have never done that. Oh. Shown us that with him and Leslie. Yeah, they should have yeah. never done that. That was really Why bad. you say that? Why you feel that way? <laughs> Excuse me. From a writing standpoint, I just feel like now it's it, it limits them on where they what they can do with the story, yeah. where it can go. Uh-huh. I think they should have held that one. They they shouldn't have done that, in my opinion. Okay. What you think, Amina? You think they should have showed that, or they should have held back? They should have waited. What you think? As far as um, what now the. The flash forward to like Bryant 20 years later, you know. This, yeah, mm-hmm. I didn't like that. And then because now I I see Jen wasn't in it. And so we know Bryant comes back on the force. And it's like, why did y'all even do all of this? So you might as well just left him on the force. You know yeah. what I mean? What do you think is going to get him back on the force? Because it's like. Mm, that's a good question. Jen. Because not the captain. Jen being unalive. Mm. Well, well, you know, the captain is involved, you know, blazes in the pocket, right? That's what we kind of like all came came to the conclusion. I mean, they right. I was so, wrong, but yeah, other, okay. other people did guess right. So yes. we put it, we put it together. Yes. So, so blaze got him in the pocket. Maybe the captain is gone. Maybe Bryant solves some case or whatever. And then like, you know what? We're putting you back on the force. Maybe mm-hmm. that'll happen. But was that was that raid though in the future? Was that the FBI or was that the local police? I'm curious. I gotta run it back. Twenty years from now. okay, twenty years later. That's a good question, actually. That's a very good question. Because I know they had on like the blue jackets with the yellow, right? I would yeah, think we... it was more official, like the FBI. That's my yeah. guess. Okay. Yeah, I thought it was. But oh, somebody said Jen was there. So if she was, then was she? No, but and, oh, and that okay. I don't remember seeing. I remember. Oh, okay, because um, I don't remember. I it was a it was the lady with the um that comedian lady with the wild yeah. hair. Yeah, mm-hmm. Leslie Jones. Yeah, yeah. I think I think if she was there, if Jim was there, she would at least have one line so we see her, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know. So oh, okay, we're in St. Louis. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, fam. Well, that's all I got. That's all I got. This has been a great discussion. We got some predictions. Hopefully, this will be a turn up episode. Hopefully, I don't know. We're going to see Charles perform. We'll see. I hope you don't sing that song. We didn't see it coming. (laughs) You think that's what he's doing? I don't know. 
I mean, here's some lady singing, but hey, maybe she's singing background. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go to everybody We're going around the room, fam. Definitely. Thank you for joining us today. I'm going to go around the room, see what you're doing on your channel. I'm going to start with you, Monique Nicole. What's happening on your channel? Yes. OK, guys, for real this time this week, I am launching the new segment on my channel about love, relationships, dating, all that good stuff. It will be launching on Wednesday. So stay tuned. Thursday is a reality TV talk with me and Nita. So just, yeah, check us out and subscribe. Thanks. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Amina, seen it. What's going on with your channel? What's coming up next? Listen, y'all got to look at my, my video. I worked so hard for, what's that? Little Nicole. The Nicole background story that I put together for you guys. That's oh, it. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. I, I really did like that one because you brought out a whole lot as far as like what I think people are looking over as far as, you know, Nicole just trying to really explain herself and explain where she is with what's going on with the family. So I think you, that it was a great video. Definitely y'all should I check that out. three seasons, so. You Ooh, sure I'm, did. I'll definitely check it out. I'll definitely mm -hmm. check it out. She went all the way back, like okay. at the table with Mabel talking about, yeah, you need to oh. say hello to Mabel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, so Amina did did her research on oh, that. So shout out, shout out to you on that one for real, for real. All <laughs> right. I definitely like your Markeisha video, Amina. That one was really good too. Oh, if y'all have to watch that one as well. Yes, what's up? And then she Absolutely. got up here and showed her butt, like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and us women yeah. look real bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, Ashley, <laughs> what's going on with the channel? What's happening next? What's the new video? What's the new stream? What's going on? A bunch of stuff, y'all. If y'all missed the live last night with Struggle Reviews TV, go on my page, check that out. If you watched the Gerard Carmichael show, that was that was a doozy. It's something to see. I also dropped Fallout Episode 1 review. That's on the channel tonight. I will have Parrish up. Uh, and be on the lookout, you guys, in the next couple of weeks because... We are venturing into some new shows. I am excited. Hit your notification bells. Um, get on the community posts so that you know everything that's coming up because there is a lot that's happening starting in May and the end of April. So just be aware. Come and check us out. Of course, I'm hosting BMF this Saturday, uh, episode eight review. And then on Sunday, we have Diara from Detroit's next episode. So yeah, tons of stuff. Tons of stuff to see, guys. Come on through. Good stuff, good stuff. We did uh, episode six uh, yesterday, so make sure you check that out. It was super funny, super funny stuff. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, so you know your boy, you know how we do. You know what I'm saying? We had the exclusive picks today, and we're going to come back this coming Saturday after episode eight to discuss it. Absolutely. Ashley's going to do that. And look out for some possibly character breakdowns uh, to some characters from Ruthless. So definitely check that out. All right, family? All right. That's it for us today. I hope you had a good time, ladies. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was fun. It's all yes. always. Yep. That's what's up. That's what's up, family. We appreciate all of y'all for coming through. Thank you for your support, your love, and everything. All right. Yes, that's right, Demarcus. Yeah, the shot yeah. is in three weeks. Look out for that. Look right. out for June, where Power Book 2 Ghosts is going to be coming back for those final mm -hmm. chapters. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we got a whole lot of stuff coming up for the summer, so get ready for that. We're going to be rocking together on, on all this stuff, family. So definitely look out for that. All right, family, we appreciate you all, all right? Until next time. Salute.